I'm just walking in the kitchen and as promised, we're going to do the cabinets on top of the refrigerator. And I like to do it like live. Literally, I just walked in here, nothing prepped. So I'm going to begin by taking this down, that down, filling up the sink with soapy water so I can wipe down on top of the refrigerator. Here I go slamming. Sunny out today. I have someone coming to get a puppy. He was a canine officer. So the little pug will have a canine German Shepherd for friend and protector. Cute, huh? chair over. Again, I wouldn't recommend standing on a chair. Like a step ladder, one of those, you know, those 50s kitchen stools with the step and it's a chair and it, it's usually in like red vinyl. Those are so cute. Those should be in everyone's kitchen. Okay, what's up here? <gasps> Hygiene dental. Yeah, we did that. Here's a pen that looks like a good pen. Ah, uh, there's a lot of dust, right? So we're gonna first of all get way back. Whoops. Ah, uh, it's dusty. Get the top of. I wanted to mention when I did the the dishwasher. Uh, how to unload a dishwasher video. I'll never forget this. I read somewhere, if you have children, this is really important. Or if you drink alcohol and you're clumsy, important information here. Um, so you want to have your, this is dirty dishes. So what happened was this family had their dishwasher open and the kids were running around in the kitchen and they had their drawer open like this, but their knives, instead of putting your knives down like that, they were facing up like that. And a little boy fell on the dishwasher and was killed because he was stabbed with the knife. So now that I've told you that, you'll never forget that because that's a horrible story. And can you imagine? So when you put your knives in the dishwasher or forks, put them facing down just because you don't want that. That could happen to anyone. Just freak accidents. So yeah, face your knives down in the dishwasher. And try not to leave your dishwasher open anyway, but sometimes it's unavoidable. Okay, I'm moving my chair over. I'm gonna get my rag wet again. I honestly, don't know what's up here, so. Whoa. Let's see. I wish I had a longer arm. Ooh, here's some dust right there. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, did I get all the way back there? Oh, I'm gonna reach. I pulled out the dishwasher um, probably two months ago, so I, I think I'm good with that. Looks like something spilled up here. Yeah, how do you spill up on top of the ceiling? Wow, 
Yep, and we're gonna have to do up there too. That's for another day, not today. Okay, now we're gonna see what's up here. Ooh. Okay. Wow, I wonder how many of you have these same things, like up on top of your, I'm sure. Look at that, that's amazing. Okay, this is garbage, this candle. I'm gonna see if I can make it. Oh, okay. Um. these have a scent? No, so this has got to go too. Whoops. We'll put this, I have a donation, ongoing donation box. See so you guys, every time I've tried a pair of jeans on, I don't like them. Those are too short for me. Those are actually from the buckle. They're, but they're getting donated. Doesn't matter what you paid for something. They're the BKE size. They're size 29, 31 and a half. So if anyone needs, where's that size? Those are expensive jeans that are going not to the Goodwill. I don't, I don't give to the Goodwill. That's a guy making all that money. It's not like a community thing. I give it to the local charity or the local thrift shop uh, store in town. Wow, we have a lot of flies around here. One, two, three fly swatters. Okay, why? Oh, one for each person. Maybe you can like, I don't know, lead an orchestra, be a conductor with all these. But I'm going to save these, Put I'm putting them underneath the sink because in the summer we're out on the deck and we're gonna put those by the flashlight. Let's push this out just a little bit. Okay. So I can see the handle, so I know they're there. Okay, we're on five minutes, but... Okay, what's this? That's funny. For butts only. Yeah, we're gonna have to... to donate those. Okay. So all your, uh, everyone who recycles, I'm not throwing it away, I'm donating it. Okay, look. What's this? Oh, we need that, a citronella candle. Okay. That can go back in there. What's this? An extra smoke alarm. Okay. This. Oh, Babes' Airbnb. That's for a wine bottle when I give wine to people at my Airbnb. My name is Babes. If you guys didn't know, I have another slot or another channel, YouTube channel called Babes Slots, and I go to Vegas a lot. And I'm just putting this dishwasher, this cat's dish. Yeah, so you can like and subscribe to that if you want to. That's a fun channel. Okay, let's see. Oh. Okay, what's this? That. No one wants that. It's going right there. Okay, so I have to get this down. This is cute. It's retro. I know it's an ashtray, but it's cute. Oh, more garbage, right? What did I do with my rag? Is it up there? It's up there. Okay, let's look. Okay. Ooh, it's so dusty back there. I can't reach it, though. What's this? Why, like, okay, why is that up there? So you need to fix your glasses and you're gonna think that, the th why? Why would anyone do that? Hi dad, there's my dad. Okay, that's going in here. Oh, 
was a head scratcher. But we might need that. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that cookie jar up there because that's my Christmas cookie jar. But I need to make an extension or what am I gonna do? How am I gonna get up there? Okay, I'll figure it out. Hang on. Marty, look what John's doing. You're not recording me, are you? You're on, you better be nice to me because this is why. <laughs> <laughs> so here's my arm extension. John. Yeah. He's laid off, so he's at my beck and call. Get deep in there, really good and good. Use some elbow grease, don't break the cabinet. Look at John wiping. Oh, there you go. Clean. Perfect. Ta-da. Ta-da with you and your slow <laughs> Did you get those on TV? I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna have to watch it. Okay. So we had to get a different chair for John because I wasn't sure about this one. Oh, geez. Okay. Thank you, John. Yes. Okay, now I have to, now I put the chair back. What's that? Hang on. I don't know what it was doing. Okay, now the ashtray can go back up there, right? Let's put everything up here. So I don't have to go up and down. Okay, this citronella candle can go up there. These two lighters, actually, I need this pen because I write everything on my calendar. I'm gonna put the pen right there and the lighters right there. Actually, I'm not doing that because I don't want that there. So I'm gonna leave the pen there. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? my change for my laundry. Look at how much change there is. These are going in there. Actually, I need one because I like candles with, with it. There has to be a reason why I keep something. I just can't keep something. I can't afford the square footage to house things I'm not actively using or in the near future. Okay, so there's two smoke alarms. Remember, all like things that go together. I'm gonna put the Ternella right there. This ash tray, I'm gonna put it right there. Right there like that. Okay, then that's it. We're done with that. Do you remember before? Yep. So that's, oh. The pen stays up there because I use that. Um, this pen doesn't write like I like it to, so that's your gloss getting in here. Okay, hang on, I have to lift those back up. Hang on. So the refrigerator is all wiped off. The outside of the cabinets are wiped off, and these are the pots I use a lot. So they're up there. They don't look bad. I mean, it's stainless steel and I have red accents, so red accents, stainless steel. So that makes sense to keep up there. I hate when people have cereal and food up there. No, that's stupid. Okay, I don't know what to do with this. Oh, yeah, oh, here we go, the catch-all. Remember, we did clean this out. There's some, there's a Valentine's Day. I have to do these for the kids, the names of the kids, so that'll be gone pretty soon. Okay, so that's it. And remember my advice on the dishwasher, keep your knives down and your forks. If you have little kids and or drunk people or elderly people who are dizzy or anyone, what if you, what? What if you had high heels on like Ginger Grant and you were in the kitchen and you fell, like tripped over the rug? Yeah, knives down, forks down, keep the door shut, yep. It's good advice. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow we'll tackle, oh, where are we? So we did that, we 
gosh. We did that. Remember this one? That was horrible. Look at it now. Okay, so tomorrow we'll do that. But this is good. But maybe up there on the top shelf I could get rid of something. So we'll do that tomorrow. That'll be like two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, thanks everyone. Take five minutes and get rid of some things. It's freeing and it feels good.